Where is it? Here it is. It's right here. Waterman. I'm going to do a couple of drawings with this pen. We have a show coming up in my building, and it's drawing animals, real or imagined. So, I'm going to draw animals. What will I draw? What will I draw? Why is this pen skipping? What will I do? Why is it? Okay, I have to figure out why it's skipping there. I'm trying to draw a seahorse. I never can remember, do they, do they go like that or do they go like that? I think they should go like this. Whether that's the way they go, I don't know. They should curl inward, but I'm always wrong when I look them up. Discover that I made it incorrect. This is one with teeth. Okay, this pen is skipping. Now, it was skipping yesterday and it's skipping today, so it's not because my fingers are on the paper, which sometimes is the case, it's because of some other issue. And I'm going to inspect it. I wish I could plug it in like they do with my car at the gas station and run a diagnostic on it. And one of the last times I brought my car to my gas station was the oil light kept on coming on and it was because I didn't put oil in it. And my service station guy said, that's a girl thing. Meaning that's something that dames would forget to do, not a stud like you. He didn't say that, but that's what he meant. That's exactly what he meant. It's a girl thing. So, anyway, I don't have a diagnostic thing to plug this into. Okay, I'll put hair on its chest. How about that? Um, well, it doesn't look like hair anymore, does it? Um, so, let's try to figure out why this is not working. No, let's just keep drawing. What are these things? Seahorses. I'm I'm really pressing down a lot on this pen and I I don't think that's the problem. It's really a neat uh experience with this pen because it's, uh, for a waterman, it's very, uh, it's very firm, even though it's flexible at the same time, you, you do have to press down a lot to make it do what I'm making it do. And, um, so maybe that's a problem. Maybe I'm pressing down too hard. I don't think that's the case, but I'll take a look in a second. It is annoying when this happens. So let's just take it apart right now and figure this out. Okay, so what is the problem? It's not a problem with the feed. The feed is, oh, 
it's out of ink. Let's see if that works. I've now filled it up. That's a girl thing. Um, having it be out of ink. Now this was skipping yesterday and when I was when it was not out of ink and I emptied it subsequently to yesterday's drawing of birch trees and um, let's just see here Skipping though. See? Skipping. See? We don't like that. We don't we do not like that to happen. And there's a reason why it's not working. I just don't know what that reason is yet. So let's just try to fix it right here on cam. Empty it out first. Now this nib is very tight in here. And I thought I had pulled it out to see if there was an issue. Um, but I may be misremembering. Looks fine to me. This looks fine. Does it not look fine to you? I ordered a, a loop. glasses rather with magnifying and light attachments to it and um, they are not here. They're coming all the way from China. China. Sometimes there's a delicate balance in pen pens where the the feed you know, the feed and the nib are um, friction, f most of them are friction fit into this section and I may try a different feed with this. Let me show, let me explain something that might be a problem with this one. This feed to my eyes looks like it's doing this. You want the you want the feed to be straight. You want the nib to fit on it straight. You want this to be tight and flush. And sometimes if the feed sags down and the nib is up here, there's no connection there. And sometimes if the feed goes up like this, there's a gap here, and this feed looks like, to my eyes, like there's this little tiny wave in it, um, where it goes down and up, and I think that's the problem. Now, do I have a feed right here with me that I can try out? somewhere in my in my desk. Okay, where did the nib go? There's the nib. See it does there's a little down and upness going on there which 
see that. I think you can see it. And that little gap, that little divot, is enough to make the ink um, not flow. So that is not a girl thing. Now I know I'm I'm going to get hate mail on my YouTube channel for saying things like that, but. The guy that told me that, made, it made me smile. He looks sort of like Danny DeVito, but shorter. And he had a very thick Boston accent. And anyway, it, I thought it was funny. But maybe it's, it was extra funny because I'm a gay man and people like Danny DeVito might think I'm like a girl anyway because of that. But who knows what is going on in his mind. Um, anyway, let me see if I can fix this now that I believe I've discovered the problem. And anyway... Uh, I'll, I'll draw one more seahorse using a different pen. This is supposed to be a seahorse. I was noticing though that pens were skipping on me recently and it might be because of the ink as well. Ink can sometimes become a little thick and um, if you're like me and you leave it uncapped for a weekend and it evaporates and the stuff that evaporates is the watery parts of it and what's left is the gunky part of it and the um, gunky part of it is thicker and the thicker stuff doesn't flow as well so anyway um, that might also be the case I just bought this bottle of ink and I'm already two-thirds through But it's not that I've used that much, I've just filled a lot of pens with it. Um. Anyway, well, let's see if I can fix that pen. I'll let you know at a different, another time. Be good. Toodaloo.